Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us enter into the presence of God in the silence of our hearts. Brother, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gave the priest St. Jerome a living and tender love for sacred scripture, grant that your people may be ever more fruitfully nourished by your word and find in it the fount of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Job. The Lord addressed Job out of the storm and said, Have you ever in your lifetime commanded the morning and shown the dawn its place? For taking hold of the ends of the earth till the wicked are shaken from its surface? The earth is changed as is clay by the seal and dyed as though it were a garment. But from the wicked the light is withheld and the arm of pride is shattered. Have you enter, ever entered into the sources of the sea, or walked about in the depths of the abyss? Have the gates of death been shown to you? Have you seen the gates of darkness? Have you comprehended the breath of the earth? Tell me, if you know all, which is the way to the dwelling place of light, and where is the abode of darkness, that you may take them to their boundaries and set them on their homeward paths. You know, because you were born before them, and the number of your years is great. Then Job answered the Lord and said, Behold, I am of little account. What can I answer you? 
I put my hand over my mouth. Though I have spoken once, I will not do so again. Though twice, I will do so no more. The word of the Lord. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. O Lord, you have probed me and you know me. You know when I sit and when I stand. You understand my thoughts from afar. My journeys and my rest you scrutinize. With all my ways you are familiar. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Where can I go from your spirit? From your presence, where can I flee? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I sink to the netherworld, you are present there. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. If I take the wings of dawn, if I settle at the farthest limits of the sea, even there your hand shall guide me, and your right hand hold me fast. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Truly you have formed my inmost being, and you knit me in my mother's womb. I give you thanks that I fearfully, wonderfully made. Wonderful are your words. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to them, Woe to you, Jerusalem! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would long ago have repented, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. But it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon at the judgment than for you. And as for you, Capernaum, will you be exalted in heaven? You will go down to the netherworld. Whoever listens to you, listens to me. Whoever rejects you, rejects me. And whoever rejects me, rejects the one who sent me the gospel of the Lord. Whoever listens to you listens to me. Whoever rejects you rejects me. Brothers and sisters, listen to Jesus Christ Rejecting Jesus Christ is a description of the process of conversions for Christians. This process begins with an acknowledgement of a miracle that happened of upper persons, of an invitation at the core of our life. Jesus said say himself in this gospel, the mighty deeds done in your midst has been done in Tyre and Sidon. The mighty deeds, the miracle, the presence is Jesus Christ himself. The invitation is to accept, to receive, and to repent. Christian repentance contains within itself two aspects, two dimensions. The recognition of one's own being, seeing, recognizing, accepting. The second part is the reordering of one's life 
according to the priorities of our own faith. The priority of faith is the priority of Jesus Christ himself. That is what Jesus said, the new world order, the kingdom of God, the grace of repentance. So we ought to pray for the grace of mercy, of repentance. We ought to pray for the grace of accepting and changing and receiving and transforming because that's what Christ is saying. The persons who see, who walk, and to who live out this path is the persons fully and transformatively belong to Christ. We all belong to Christ. We all belong to His mercy, His goodness, His compassion, and His transformative power. Mindful of our needs and the needs of others, let us place them before the Lord. For the Church, may the Lord fortify and sustain her in her prophetic witness to the Gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For nations in conflict, may the Holy Spirit strengthen them in their efforts to find lasting peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those burdened by sin of any kind, may they be drawn into the light of forgiveness and peace. Through the grace and mercy of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For parents and grandparents, may God bless them in their uh, undertaking to raise up children in the faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all the faithful departed, may they rest in eternal peace with all the angels and saints in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For though the special intentions of those you are here present, please offer them now to the Lord in silence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for Al and Atherin Coop, for uh, this mass, who, for whom this math is offered today, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Almighty Father, hear our prayers this day and answer them according to your will. We ask this through your Son, Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life.
Bless our you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For of the vine, the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant us, O Lord, that having meditated on your word, following the example of Saint Jerome, we may more eagerly draw near to offer your majesty the sacrifice of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Is it truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks? Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Jerome, you bid your church rejoice, so do you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in, it to, in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as with our end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more given thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, 
and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, his brother Bishop, Timothy and Thomas, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
communion antiphon. Lord God, your words were found, and I consume them. Your word became the joy and the happiness of my heart.
Let us pray. May these holy gifts we have received, O Lord, as we rejoice in celebrating Saint Jerome, stir up the hearts of your faithful, so that attentive to sacred teachings, they may understand the path they are to follow, and by following it, obtain life everlasting. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Saint Michael, the archangels, defend us in battle. Be a protection against the wickedness and snare of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. O thou, Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the evil spirit, the power of the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.